And before the weather, I mentioned I'm joined by Corey. How are you this morning? Good, good, thanks. Good, good. Um, so you're with us from Baker's Brewery. Tell me a little bit about the Baker's Brewery. Well, we're a bakery and a brewery. We are conveniently located right off the exit ramp for people coming into town and also close to, uh, you know, the Rainbow Drive folks, the Ptarmigan Mountain folks, and uh, I think we're the closest bar to pretty much all the wilderness. Awesome, yeah, and I love that we have a lot of breweries out here, but what makes you guys a little bit more special? I know that you're a bakery too, which is cool, but what else? <laughs> well, we don't bring in frozen product. Uh, we make everything from scratch, and um, including the bread for all the sandwiches, tasty creative sandwich combinations on top of homemade breads. Um, so we have, you know, awesome liquid and solid sandwiches. Cool, cool. So you guys have some events coming up. Tell me a little bit about what's going on over there. So coming up this weekend, uh, Saturday the 29th, we've got this awesome Halloween party. We've got local band The Grins playing uh, acoustic, like folk rock, uh, Celtic bluegrass kind of blend. Uh, we're doing an awesome co costume contest, and I have pulled four different beers out of bourbon barrels uh, special for this event. So. We'll be setting up the jockey box in the back corner of the brewery, and in addition to the normal 12 beers we have pouring, we're going to have uh, four bourbon barrel beers as well, so 16 total on tap that night. Awesome. Is this what you're going to be wearing for your costume? Well, this is my Jared Allen costume. <laughs> I've been uh, trying to challenge Jared Allen uh, all morning to, you know, help me get over the loss yesterday, and, uh, you know, you know, the... Uh, I was going to say, I'm going to wear my Eagles jersey and I'm going to win the costume contest. Just for wearing an Eagles jersey? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You don't look like Sam Bradford to me. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Um, cool, so it sounds like that's going to be a really great event. What else do you want us to know about the brewery? Um, well, I mean, we could, for, for instance, we could talk about the delicious bourbon barrel beers. We've got a, okay. uh, um, my favorite is the Winter is Coming, um, aptly named. Uh, it's an Imperial Dark Saison that's been in a bourbon barrel with uh, tart cherries for about five months. Whoa. And uh, it's coming in uh, probably like uh, eight and a half, nine percent. Um, super rich, super sweet and spicy, just um, but nice dry finish still. Really, really wonderful beer. Mm. Um, in addition to that, we have uh, a Belgian Rye Pale Ale and a... Uh, IPA that were in bourbon barrel from Breckenridge Distillery for pretty much a whole year. Wow. And then lastly, I've got this uh, sour conglomerate stout. So for the people that are looking for that sweet tart, uh, this stout was aged uh, mixed with a little bit of rye um, into it and then aged in a barrel with tart cherries and cocoa nibs. Awesome. So how do you get the inspiration for these different kinds of beers? You know, I, I take inspiration from anywhere. Um, I mean, sometimes it's, you know, some other beer that I've seen, or it could be something I see on TV, or just the seasons changing in general. Mm -hmm. um, you know, something I take a lot of pride in is my seasonal saisons. Um, and so the winter saison we talked about um, is a 8% imperial dark saison, you know, something richer and stronger right. for the winter season. Uh, it's got spruce tips chai tea spice, uh, mandarin orange as the seasonal fruit. Um, uh, something that kind of runs through all the, the saisons um, is I do a seasonal fruit and spice to gently accentuate the natural fruit and spice of the yeast. Uh, so coming up soon for fall, I have a wonderful roasted and toasted saison Ooh. with roasted uh, tomatillos and toasted cumin. And roasting and tomatillos is really fun because you get this like sweet kind of apple citrus fruit aroma, but when you taste it, it's all tart. Like the Ooh. roasting makes it super tart. And so it's it's almost like a, a pseudo sour, but then the, the richness of the roasted uh, uh, toasted cumin kind of comes through with that earthy spice of the Belgian yeast in the finish. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. I'm it's, like, what time? It's only 8.30 in the morning. I don't know what time You ready for beer? I'm like, I'm ready good, for I'm, beer I'm doing now. my job. You're doing your job, I'm ready for beer. So what's the favorite beer that you've kind of created? Um, That's probably a really difficult you know, thing to I, I love all my beers equally. Um, no, I, I pretty much love all beer equally, really, no. Um, <laughs> I, I guess our biggest seller is probably also my biggest go-to. It's called the Cottonmouth Killer. Okay. And it is a uh, very light, refreshing, as the name would suggest, um, session IPA. Really more session than IPA. Just a nice uh, intro to American citrus hops, but without all the bitterness that you know, can kind of bring that, oh my God, bitter beer face to yeah, people. Yeah, that's the kind of IPA that I need. <laughs> right. <laughs> For right. sure. And about 4.9%, so you can you know, tip a few of them back and still get home safe. 
Awesome. Well, Corey, you mentioned your party. You mentioned a little bit more about the brewery. How can people find out more about all of this? Well, uh, we've got a Facebook site, of course. Um, TheBakersBrewery.com is our website. Um, we're at 531 Silverthorne Lane right here in Silverthorne, um, conveniently located next to everything. <laughs> next to everything. You can conveniently find us next Silver to Lord's everything. Silverthorne's only so big, right? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, Corey, thank you so much for joining us. Um, maybe I'll see you at the party. Hopefully I'll make it over there. I won't wear my Eagles jersey, don't worry. Um, we're going to take a short break. Don't go anywhere because we'll be right back.